here to talk about the VH1 film, Let's Get Married. I'd like to welcome returning guest, Michelle Prada, to Sidewalks Entertainment. Hi, Michelle. Thank you so much for joining us again. Hi, thanks for having me again. It's so nice to hear from you. So, happy holidays and um, happy early birthday. Yay, Capricorns. <laughs> I'm a December baby, too. <laughs> so, are you ready for those uh, birthday slash Christmas presents this year? <laughs> You know, it's a, it's a, yeah. I mean, I'll, t I'll take presents at any point. So, you know, I'm not, I'm never mad at. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> so, what is the longest running Christmas tradition that your family still does till this day? Ooh, I mean, our biggest Christmas tradition is always just a very standard Noche Buena. We make the rice, we make the beans, we make the lechon, the ensalada de aguacate. And we get together on Christmas Eve and just really enjoy that family moment. And I tend to prefer celebrating on Christmas Eve rather than Christmas Day. We end up having a very late night, but it's um, it's really fun. So that that's something that I look forward to every year. You know, what's interesting is um, I'm Filipina and in our family, uh, quite often Christmas Eve is a, is much bigger and a bigger celebration mm -hmm. than Chris, than the actual Christmas day. Is that how your family is too? Oh, a hundred percent. Well, we, when I grew up, we would do Christmas Eve with our family, like our extended family and the Christmas morning with our immediate family. But so I guess being a Latin American, you kind of got the both best of both worlds. So I, I very much appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. So since we're here to talk about the film, Let's Get Married, let's hear a little bit about your dating experience. Now, what is the best date you've ever, ever been on during the holidays? And what's been the worst date you've ever been on during the holidays? <laughs> um, I would say the most like grand gesture of a date I ever had uh, was... <laughs> But it ended up turning into something kind of funny. So maybe it's a best and worst in the same same place, which <laughs> is uh, my high school boyfriend, our senior year, decided to buy a ticket to New York City. But my family was very strict, so I couldn't sleep over. So we flew that afternoon. I had no idea it was happening to New York City to go see a Broadway play. We saw Phantom of the Opera. It was my first Broadway play. And the tickets on the way back weren't until very early in the morning. So somehow we ended up sneaking into the Blue Note through the back door. And I just like slept in one of the stalls until it was time to go because we thought we could stay up all night, but that wasn't the case. So, uh, so I feel like it's like a best and worst situation because it was very romantic. But something about sleeping in a stall in a jazz bar, I mean, it's romantic and like <laughs> retrospect at the time felt kind of not the greatest. Oh my goodness. Aw, so it was like romantic, but like kind of not. <laughs> yeah, you're like, hearing it sounded really romantic and it was until it hit, you know, three in the morning and we couldn't check into a hotel because my parents were very strict and, uh, and I was yeah. sleeping in a stall. <laughs> That the jazz. So, okay, so the VH1 film, Let's Get Married. Uh, the film centers on a bachelorette weekend at a Christmas theme adventure park where your character decides to get married to someone she hasn't met yet. Then she meets Taj Maori's character, who is the perfect candidate, but he's anti marriage. So she has her work cut out for her. <laughs> so, what caught your interest in being a part of this film? Oh, I, you know, I am very inspired by Eva Longoria, who's an executive producer on this as a woman coming up in Hollywood. It's always so great to see uh, women really trailblazing and, and making projects. So that alone was a, just a really fun part of this. And, and I hadn't done something that was a comedy in this way and getting to work with Taj, Mari and Zosha Rokmore, who's on the Mindy Calling Project, 
uh, it was just, it was, it was fun. It was just seemed like something exactly what I needed after this kind of topsy-turvy year to, to just do something that felt like it was just going to be a lot of fun. You know, it looked like a lot of fun. I mean, there were a lot of wow moments uh, <laughs> for me watching that film. Um, you guys did a fantastic job. It just, it's hilarious. Uh, so as you mentioned earlier, you, know, you worked with Ava Longoria. She's the executive producer. And you work alongside a really great cast. Now, of your co-stars in this film, uh, who have you worked with before? And what was it like working with again? Or, or, or uh, what was it like working with them for the first time? I hadn't. I hadn't at all. Uh, Zosha, Rokor, and I were on the same flight over. And... Uh, that was where we met. And we actually, when we got there, for some reason, there was a strike at the airport. So we got stuck in the airport for five hours. We uh, going oh through customs. So that, that created a fast friendship, I would say, just going <laughs> through str- in uh, right off the get go. And, and we became fast friends. And it was seriously between Taj and and all of the other women attached to this film, it it was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. So the fun that you're seeing on screen just completely transferred straight from what was happening off screen. Nice, nice. So one last question before we wrap. Uh, Now that you're finished with Let's Get Married, do you have any projects that you're currently working on or have coming up? Yeah, I, uh, well, I'm in Budapest in the moment and I am shooting the John Wick prequel series, which is very different than a comedy. It's a lot of intense action, months and months of training. Uh, But, you know, I'm learning how to flip grown men over my head and and, uh, use a revolver. So, you know, oh I feel like God. those are very basic life skills that we should learn. Uh, yeah, so so that's currently what I will I've I've been doing out here, and um, it's a little different. But I get to be in Budapest during the holiday season, and I I can't I can't recommend it enough. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm very much looking forward to it, and wonderful work on the vh1 film let's get married Uh, sadly we are out of time but again thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today thank you so much happy holidays happy holidays and happy early birthday for more full-length celebrity interviews visit sidewalkstv.com